hi my name is Mide and this is my first video on this channel now before i actually get into what the video is about i just want to say thank you for clicking on the video because you literally do not know who i am as obviously this is my first video so you're not expected to but you still did and i appreciate it so thank you hopefully i do some game development stuff here game jams maybe mobile games i don't know different stuff but we'll see now before i actually get into like the main idea of this video i just want to kind of talk about myself a little bit i am currently a college student in canada and the first time i ever got into game development was a very long time ago when i was like 13 my mom sent me to the summer camp to learn like scratch and some mit mlt android development thing I know it's really cool. I know I really enjoyed it. Like I did a lot of research on Google to learn more about Scratch and it paid off. I made a total of two games, not complete games, obviously. I made this kind of endless runner that wasn't endless. What? And I also made a 2D platformer, kind of like Mega Man where you just jump and shoot, something like that. But for a very long time, I never really did anything game development ever again for like a very long time till sometime last year i was lingering with the idea and i stumbled on unity and well now i'm here some of you may be wondering hey why are you doing an fps everybody's in an fps your game's not going to stand out and to that i say yes i know but i personally only really play shooters like apex legends doom titanfall those are the type of games that i enjoy personally so i felt like it only makes sense if i started with something like that and this is my third attempt and to be honest this is my best attempt yet but a lot has changed since the first time i tried and now i've watched a lot of tutorials i've participated in game jams so i feel like i'm a little bit more competent i guess a couple of inspirations for the game are metroid prime doom 2016 mainly because of how doom handles like combat and the way metroid kind of handles the puzzle platforming side of things in the earlier stages of development for the game i had a completely different idea from where it is now i was going for something kind of like call of duty but i quickly realized i was over scoping way too much so i had to cut out a bunch of stuff and kind of think about how i wanted the game to play out initially i told myself i wanted to have like 30 weapons or something and realistically i cannot do 30 weapons it's just not possible this is a game that i'm doing all by myself i may get some help in places that i would need help like animation and some asset creation i guess but <laughs> I am not going to make a game with like 30 guns and so much other stuff. I realized I was overscoping the game and I was trying to make like this huge game. So I cut a lot out of it and I simplified the formula and I pushed forward, changed all my design notes, design documents, and you know, I kept going and then I overscoped again. I wanted to make like a game with Halo AI which is just not possible for me to do alone oh i mean it's possible but it take quite a long time so i didn't work on the game for a long time i did a couple i did a game jam in between that was a wowie jam just to clear my head and i realized what i wanted to do with the project right now i have a fairly simple goal that i'm going for and it's also not been a completely smooth process either apart from the multiple google searches just to find out how to do something unt i've had to deal with crashes there was this time i lost literally everything and i had to like email unt's customer service but luckily we were able to get it back and i've also had a lot of schoolwork or exams sometimes schoolwork and life stuff could make me go weeks without ever even touching the game and that's why 
my progress has been so slow. But right now that I'm now in school, I'm trying to put in as much work as I can to get the game to a state where I could release a public build. Initially, I wanted to release a public build when this video went up, but it's been way too long and I knew I had to make a video soon or I would keep pushing it and pushing it and it would just never happen. It's funny how when I started this game, I thought it was going to be like a six month project, you know, in and out. And that was back in January. It's May now. It's pretty much June. And well, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how I even expected to make a completely playable game in six months with all the stupid ideas I had back then. But with everything trimmed out, all the fat cut out of the game, all the unnecessary stuff thrown away, after all the crashes and unity errors and unity editor problems i still love the process of making the game and i don't intend on quitting anytime soon so if you guys like what you see be sure to come along this is just devlog zero um i'll try and have some footage of the game playing in the background but with that said if you like the video please leave a like and if you want to follow the development of my currently unnamed first person shooter, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.